regional conference, The Future of the Welfare State in the Western Balkans, is the backbone of an initiative launched by a group of independent think tank organizations and researchers aiming to improve the welfare state in the region. Changes in the welfare state environments are tremendous and the needs are competing, especially here, we can say, in the Western Balkans. Philosophies and advisors are numerous and often opposing each other. There are numerous obstacles and challenges in the Western Balkan countries that require a clearly focused social response. The idea of the regional initiative is to create a space for debate and ideas and strategies for the future welfare state. The social dimension is trivialized, marginalized, or determinized as if it's simply a product of those bigger forces. And so the fact that we're here and that we're talking about this is really important. As a move forward, the position paper on the future of the welfare state in the Western Balkans has been prepared. This study provides an overview against the key indicators and reviews challenges that the social welfare state faces globally. Ako bih morala u jednoj rečenici da kažem šta je osnovni izazov, rekla bih da je to zapravo jaz između potreba i mogućnosti. Zemlje Zapadnog Balkana su manje razvijene, suštinski imaju manji društveni proizvod, budžetski kada posmatramo opterećene su dugovima, opterećene su deficitom većina zemalja. Činjenica je Takođe da su izdvajanja mala, dakle ima među nama zemalja koje svega 3% bruto društvenog proizvoda izdvajaju za obrazovanje ili za zdravstvo, dakle to je i u relativnom iznosu malo. Western Balkan economies already spend up to 25% of their GDPs on social protection compared to 29% in the EU. Their allocations for the social sector are low, sometimes very low, which brings into question the very concept of the welfare state. Welfare chauvinism is spreading throughout our region, and basically welfare chauvinism is very, can easily be defined. It's welfare for us and not for them. Social protection has a preventive and a protective and a kind of productive, integrative function but it can also have a transformative function. That's what happened in certain countries after the Second World War. A particular future challenge lies in European integration, which brings many advantages, but also imposes specific priorities. In the assessment process, the European Commission gives guidance to the states on how to go forward. We give guidance what these programs should include, but they are, first of all, an encouragement to the governance and the administrations here in the region to um, set up medium-term uh, programs to select policy priorities in macroeconomic, in fiscal policies, and in structural policies across the board with also the social dimension, education, employment, social policies, most challenges facing the mature welfare states are also present in the Western Balkans, such as demographic changes and, in particular, population aging. In some countries, emigration flows have a significant impact as well. In the past two decades, around 5 million people have left the region, which is around 25% of the current population. There are economic factors like high, low, much lower income levels, high unemployment, uh, weaker uh, sort of uh, social protection programs or, or, or weaker welfare state, uh, um, states in general. But also main contributing factor are weak, sort of weak institutions, high perceived corruption, uh, weak democracies or, or democratic institutions, I would say, uh, freedom of media, for example, uh, but weak institutions in general. Let me also say that when I'm talking about economic development, that uh, the justice has to be also actually in place, that the role of law has to be also uh, there. 
The challenges and prospects of the welfare state in the Western Balkans should be observed in a global context whilst addressing specific regional trends. In 2015, the UN General Assembly approved the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. One of the key principles of Agenda 2030 is leave no one behind. Okay. And the idea is that so much of the world has gotten so much richer and poverty has fallen, uh, in relative terms at least, so much. Uh, and yet there still are a lot of people in absolute terms who do not share in the benefits of development. And we can't forget about them. The conference will result in two initiatives. An initiative for improved governance of social sectors in the Western Balkans and an initiative for future-oriented welfare state policies.